Alright guys, check, 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 check. We still got the main event to go here at the CMB Draft Shakeup. Been a hell of an event so far. And to cap it all off, we have got the undisputed world heavyweight champion Chris Proudfoot. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with rival Bob Luger. No holds barred. Anything goes. Another two massive pickups for general manager of supremacy mr slates has gotten not only bob luger but also the undisputed world heavyweight champion himself chris proudfoot so sander slate not only got the international championship and picked up shay hogson but also the crown jewel of cmb proudfoot is gonna be going to supremacy along with the rest of god's chosen and it's another interesting thing. We talked about it earlier tonight with Xander Slate recruiting Shea Hoxton. We thought, well, maybe he did that because Shea Hoxton won the international championship and Xander Slate is willing to look past, you know, what happened between he and Shea Hoxton if it means he gets that international title, the second most prestigious championship in all the CMB. But why Bob Luger? We know that... Wait a minute, what the hell is... Who the hell is that? Who the hell is this tank of a man? Coming down the ramp, and it looks like he's he's coming after Bob Luger, but Chris Proudfoot Proudfoot seems to be just as confused with the presence of this mystery man at ringside. Luger turning his back, and Chris Proudfoot with a boot right to the chest of the work ethic titan. Who who the hell is this guy? Come back and. Calling the attention of Bob Luger has made way for Proudfoot to take the advantage. Scars that Bob Luger upset Chris Proudfoot to become international champion. A loss that I'm sure has been a thorn in Proudfoot's side these last few months. And he's looking to finally get that thorn out here tonight. Rewrite that wrong in the presence of God. But again, who was that mystery man that came out here? And Chris Proudfoot seemed just as confused at the presence of this, this mystery uh, assailant. So I'm going to assume that it wasn't any sort of trick by Proudfoot. Nevertheless, Bob Luger trying to make his way German suplex. And another, why not go for three? The trifecta suplex city is where Proudfoot gets taken to. As soon as the stream, full rosters will be revealed for both Crossfire and Supremacy on our Discord and Twitter. So make sure you're following us on our social media, exclamation point Discord and exclamation point Twitter in the chat. Let's keep in mind, this is no holds barred. Bob Luger gets a big old kick to the side of the head. There's one of the jaw. Full arm smash from Luger. Bob Luger losing that international championship at Winterfest to Shea Hoxson. What was an even bigger upset than Bob Luger beating Chris Proudfoot for the title. Luger really can't catch a break when it comes to winning championships. He always climbs that mountain, finally gets to the top, and then slips, falling all the way down. The only title he's held for more than a minute was his first reign as Alpha World Champion. And his second reign, he was immediately cashed in on by MLP. His first reign as International Champion, he had to vacate it because of an injury. We thought his career was over, but then he fought back, rehabbing, returned, won the International title Stars, but losing it only a month or so later. Hang on a minute. Proudfoot. We've seen this many times before from the undisputed world heavyweight champion. The father, the son, and the Holy Ghost coast to coast for Chris Proudfoot. He might have hit the back of his own head off the canvas on the way down, but will it be enough? One, two, no. Bob Luger. Whoever that man was who came out here towards the start of the match to distract Bob Luger. Oh! God's arrow. Bob Luger just gets right back up though. What the hell? And into a pin. 
It's almost like that pissed him off. That's Chris Proudfoot's number one weapon in all of his arsenal. And Bob Luger just ate it. Said, thank you, come again. Off the shoulders, torture rack, neck breaker. Luger able to focus now that there's nobody at ringside. Rushing into the pin again. One, two. Hard headed. In more ways than one after that. God's arrow right to the head. Luger landing. Luger landing. Luger landing. Covers it in the pin. One, two, three. And Bob Luger is victorious. Luger has just pinned the undisputed world heavyweight champion here in the main event. Oh, shake up. Incredible. After taking a God's arrow right to the face, Luger immediately got back up. Hitting the torch rack deathbreaker and soon after the Luger landing. And all of this in spite of a distraction by that Bob Luger has done it again. Twice now he has beaten Chris Proudfoot. And that has got to put Bob Luger right in the number one contender with Mr. Slate. In charge of supremacy, will Luger ever see that type of opportunity? What is Slate's game plan here? Who is that mystery man? And what's next? Well, guys, thanks for tuning in and watching. As always, we almost made it all the way through. We got to the co-main event until the game finally crashed. But uh, great show. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And now we look forward to the season properly starting next Tuesday, guys. will be the premiere episode of Crossfire. And from there, we're back on uh, our regular schedule. Every Tuesday, Crossfire. Every Friday, Supremacy. And uh, our next pay-per-view, which will be dual-branded, both the superstars of Crossfire and Supremacy will compete at Point Break four weeks from tonight. I don't know what that exact date is. Early January, obviously. Um, but until then, make sure you tune into our Discord or Twitter to find out the full rosters of Crossfire and Supremacy, exclamation point Discord, exclamation point Twitter, and the chat. You can get yourself a link. And if you want to be a part of CMB, you're more than welcome. CommunityUniverse.4Motion.com is our website. You can go to any of the other links, Discord, Twitter, doesn't matter. Um, and come join us. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your Sunday night, and I will see you when I see you. Bye.